Hi there, I'm Matt Liebman. I'm a professor in the anthropology department. And this semester, I'm gonna be teaching a course with my colleague, Dan Smale from the Department of History called Gen Ed 1044, Deep History. Now, you've probably taken a couple of history courses during your educational career, maybe starting in grade school and probably continuing in secondary school and maybe even already here at Harvard. And I'm guessing that most of these courses cover time periods that stretched across multiple decades. Um, maybe even a few centuries. But Gen Ed 1044 takes a different approach to history. In this class, we investigate a series of human phenomena as they have developed over the course of hundreds of thousands of years, taking a truly long-term perspective to the study of the human past, and we call this approach deep history. So this course offers students a chance to engage with a different mode of historical inquiry and what we're really trying to do is provide a counterbalance to the short-term thinking that's become so common in this age of social media. So the case studies that we're gonna investigate come from around the world and travel from the depths of the Paleolithic era down to the 21st century. Now, our approach to deep history is not bound by conventional time scales, nor is it bound by the conventional boundaries that separate academic disciplines. Instead, this course brings together findings from all the academic fields that traditionally engage in the study of the human past, from history, anthropology, archeology, span biology, art history, economics, psychology, linguistics, and, and even more. And together, we will attempt to weave all of these perspectives into a unified narrative. So in this course, we'll pose questions like, when does history begin? And is there a difference between prehistory and history? Does human history have a trajectory? And if so, is it direct and linear or is it discontinuous, zigzagging down to the present day? This semester, we'll investigate the human past through a series of themes beginning with the long-term history of human bodies. So we're gonna ask how have human bodies changed over the long span of history and how are they continuing to change today? How do the things that humans make end up shaping us in return? And how are the things that we use changing what it means to be human today? We'll also probe some of the enduring issues that plague human society. We'll ask, is there an overall trajectory to these problems? So what's the history of poverty? Has poverty always been a part of human society? Or is this a more recent development? And what about violence? Has violence increased or decreased over the span of hundreds of thousands of years? We'll also examine some of the institutions that serve to bond humans together. So we'll ask, is religion innate in all human cultures? Or has our belief in higher powers evolved and changed through time? And is there anything natural about what humans believe or about how we behave? How have the rules about whom and how we choose to love changed over time, for example? So there are no prerequisites for this course and it's designed to be accessible to all Harvard students. First year students are welcome. And because the course touches on many disciplines, we welcome students from a wide range of backgrounds who can bring their own unique perspectives and expertise to our class discussions. So join us in deep history this fall. And together, we'll ask, who are we? How did we get here? And how far back do we have to go to start answering these questions? <laughs>